trigonometry prove that tan a divided by 1 minus cot a plus cot a divided by 1 minus tan a equal to 1 plus c a cos k okay so we have to prove the lhs of the given equation is equal to rhs so in order to prove that at first we have to take lhs of this equation that is tan a by 1 minus cot a plus cot a by 1 minus tan a so at first what we are going to do here is we are rewriting each of the term that is tan a cot a in terms of sin a and cos a why we are rewriting is because to get our required rhs and rhs is of the term of ck into cos ck what is ck 1 by cos a cos ck is 1 by sin a in order to get our required rhs at first we are rewriting each and every term in terms of sin a and cos a what is tan a sin a by cos a and cot a is cos a by sin a in the next term we are going to take the LCM of this denominator, what is the LCM of this denominator? That is, sine denominator only, we are taking the LCM, that is, what is the LCM? Sin A minus cos A, okay, whole divided by sin A. Where is that sin A? It goes to the numerator directly. Directly it goes to numerator, then we will get sin square A. That is 1 by 1 by a will gives a. In that method, we will get sine square a here. And what about this cos a? It comes to the denominator. Again, here cos a minus sin a whole divided by cos a will go to the numerator. And this sin a will comes to the denominator. Okay. So, this is our form here. In the next step, we will take the LCM that is by cross multiplying. We get the LCM as this. That is sin square A into this term. That is sin cube A into cos A minus sin A plus cos square A into this term. That is cos cube A into sin A minus cos A whole divided by this denominator. That is cos A into sin a minus cos a sin a into cos a minus sin a so in the next step we will take cos a minus sin a in the numerator to the outside so here why we are not touching the numer denominator is because since 1 by cos a gives c k and 1 by sin a gives cos k that is here we have the term c k and cos k so we have to re retain that term till we get our result that is we have to check what is our rhs at first it is 1 plus c k by cos k and this is a term that is cos a sin a which is a term in the rhs so we have to retain like this till we get the result so, by taking cos a minus sin a to the outside, we will get sin cube a here. And what about this? Why minus cos a cube a? Since sin a minus cos a is negative of cos a minus sin a. Okay. So, we will get negative cos a cube a here. Next, cos a minus sin a cos a minus sin a is common here these two get cancel each other and what will remain here sin cube a minus cos cube a whole divided by cos a sin a into sin a minus cos a okay what sin cube a minus cos cube a we can rewritten this term as like this by using this identity that is a cube minus b cube equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square okay what is a here? We will take a as sine cube, a cube as sine cube and b cube as cos cube. That is a as sine and b as cos. 
we will get a minus b as sin a minus cos a, a square sin square, a b sin a cos a, b square as cos square a. Okay, again we get we can cancel these two terms here. What will remain here is that is one plus sin a cos a. How the what one one come here? Sin square a plus cos square a will gives 1 plus sin a cos a whole divided by these two terms will cancel each other cos a sin a. Then sin a cos a sin a cos a will gives 1 here and 1 by sin a cos a will gives c k cos k that is our required RHS. So we have to retain this term that is cos a sin a till we get our required RHS. Okay.